Mona's place was a closed-down funhouse based on a 90s TV show. The show's cancellation had been the kiss of death to it. I felt like I was walking into a trap. I felt guilty, like I was about to get caught. There had been no lock on the front door. I had wondered why the place wasn't packed with hobos and stray dogs. Little wonder. Your past has a way of sneaking up on you. You'll hear broken echoes of it everywhere, like a bad replay. You get mad at everybody for reminding you about it. 
even if it's all in your head. All right now, easy, easy, just hand it over. There's a good boy. Hey, stay back. No. When entertainment turns to a surreal reflection of your life, you're a lucky man if you can laugh at the joke. Luck and I weren't on speaking terms. Or maybe the place was just too lame to be funny. A fun house is a linear sequence of scares. Take it or leave it is the only choice given. Makes you think about free will. Have our choices been made for us because of who we are? John Mira. Yes, this is he. This is John Mira. Welcome to the next level. Uh. I was behind the backdrops, getting warm. When I'd first met Mona, her twin sister had been killed. It must have felt like madness, schizophrenia in reverse. Your other self suddenly falling silent. We had both lost our loved ones. Mona's door was locked. I could have knocked, but I felt an urge to snoop around more, keep acting paranoid. I pretended I had a choice in the matter. Lords and ladies, brought to you in part by Gold Touch Brandy. Going somewhere, little brother? My lord, Jack, what on earth? Why are you lurking here in darkness? Are you... Are you spying on me? Hardly conduct fit for a lord. 
Not so, if the other one is no lord to begin with. It is not I whose actions are in question here, Valentine. Where do you think you are going at this ungodly hour? Who put you up to this shameful errand? Mama! Leave our parents out of this. Papa, the esteemed Sheriff of York, was well on his way to recovery from the consumption when the news of you carried... The weapons and explosives in her workroom left no questions about her vocation. What about his relapse? Border dash! Soon Papa will be dead because of you. And I will be the head of the family. Continue seeing her at your own peril. Are you threatening me, my lord? I will cut you off, Valentine. That and worse. I speak to good night, brother. And we keep driving into the night. Now, I'll tell you one thing, Mona, you're no singer. You've switched tactics. We need to talk. Bring me a towel, will you? Now that you're here, you can watch my back while I get dressed. All she had told me was that someone wanted us dead. The way she was acting, I was the only one in danger here. You have to give me a lot more than that. The inner circle. What of it? The secret society is after everyone who knows of their existence. Come off it. Prove it. I have a contact inside. He's willing to talk. Alfred Woden? No. Anyways, I can take you to him. She wasn't telling me the whole truth. Let's go. The circle goes back to the centuries-old Masonic cults. Corruption and assassinations reaching all the way to the presidential level. Right. And here I was, thinking conspiracy theories had gone out of style. We're here. So are they. I'm the only one handling a piece here. Which floor? They're after him. The elevators work with the apartment keys and from the desk here. They've jammed most of them to the floors they're on. The guards set off the alarm before they were killed. We need to do this fast. Shouldn't we just wait for the cops? Here, so we can stay in touch. You operate the elevator from here and I'll go I'll up. I'll go up. You're the man. How come you're alive, anyway? I saw you take a bullet to the head. Maybe it's still there. Keeps me focused. For this to work, I was gonna have to trust her. Let's get to work. Cleaners ahead and to the left, guarding Corcoran's door at the opposite end of the hall. <laughs> 